Hello mga kaligtas! Malamang sa malamang narinig mo na ang tunog na ito. Kasabay at iba't ibang klaseng memes sa tulad nito. At ito! At ito! At marami pang iba na nagpapapop sa inyong social media feed. That's right! We're gonna talk about Squid Games. Kung kinaya mo ang pagkabrutal ng series ito sa Netflix, it's a story na jam-packed with important lessons. In today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang tatlong essential life lessons from the show that can also help us sa lakad natin bilang mga kaligtas. Warning! This video content is packed with spoilers. 456 na contestant. Lumalaban para sa 45.6 billion won na papremyo. Anim na pambatang laro. Mga larong duguan ang enkwentro. Yan ang kwento ng Squid Games. Nagsisimula ang kwento kay Ji Han, isang diehard gambler na baon sa utang. May nanay na kailangan ng operasyon, a failed marriage, at isang anak na nanganganib na mawalan siya ng custody. At sa panahong walang wala na siya, he meets Si Kuo ng Train to Busan na niyaya siya maglaro kapalit ng 100,000 won every time he wins. It's a decision that he would soon regret. Doon nagsimula ang masalimuot niyang story sa Squid Games kasama ang iba't iba pang mga contestant na may iba't ibang kwento sa buhay. So here are the lessons from Squid Games that can speak sa mga personal nating mga buhay. Number one, Life is more than getting ahead. Sa unang game ng Squid Games, the contestants played the classic game of red light and green light. It was fun at first. Not until ma-realize sila, babarinin sila on the spot pag nakita sila ni Julie gumalaw. Sa takot ng ilang contestants, hindi na nila malayan na nasa kung gustuhan nilang manalo eh, may natatapakan na silang ibang tao. Marami tayong pressure sa buhay. Marami tayong gustong makuha sa buhay. Pero kaligtas, kung sa gigil mong mauna eh, nababaliwala mo nang ang mga tao na sa paligid mo na gusto rin gumasenso, eh mali na yun. When was the last time you paused and went out of your way to help someone? As Christians, we are called to serve others, not just our own agendas. Okay? On the other hand, kailangan mo mag-focus sa sarili mong lakad, sa sarili mong timeline. Hindi porket may mga nauuna na sa'yo eh, nahuhuli ka na. May sarili kang kwento. And sooner or later, you will arrive at the finish line. Number two. Love for money is the root of all evil. The participants all had one thing in common. They wanted money and they wanted bad. And alam natin kung anong naging fruit nito. Nagkaroon ng betrayals. Kawawa ka rin. People hurting people and many more. Money is important, but it shouldn't be our main drive. Nope. Sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa natin, it's not about the money, money, money. What matters are the relationship we've built in the journey, the growth that happens in our character, the simple things. Kasi sa dulo ng araw, money can't buy happiness. Number three. We are not the sum of our bad choices. Kung may tao nagkaroon ng great character arc dito, eh walang iba yun kundi si Jihan. Kahit na nagkaroon siya ng mga pagkakamali in the past at naging masalimuot ang buhay niya, bantang dulo ng kwento, pula na ang buhok niya. <laughs> Uy, joke lang. <laughs> bantang dulo ng kwento, nagbago ng motivations niya sa buhay. Na ibang ugali, na ibang pananaw, he was capable of change. That's the same way sa atin, mga kaligtas. Hindi porkit naging madilim, komplikado, at pangit ang mga past lives natin eh, mananatiling ganun na tayo. Pilang Christians, we can rise above our regrets and failures and pursue a life of purpose. Because in Christ, we become new people with a new purpose if we allow Him to work in us. Sabi nga sa 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, Pinoy Translation. Kaya kung nakapag-isa na kay Christ, ang isang tao, bagong creation na siya. Wala na yung luma, bago na ang lahat. 
So those are three essential life lessons we can get from Squid Games, among others. And whether you watch this series dahil trending sa Netflix or gusto mong makirelate sa mga memes online, one thing is for sure, it's a series na puno ng aral kung iisipin natin mabuti. Ikaw kaligtas! What do you think about Squid Games? Ano mga realizations o lessons na nakuha nyo from the show? Let us know in the comments section below. That's all for today's video. Hoping that you learned a lot from this episode. And this has been Kuya Daniel saying, stay safe and stay safe.